What's up, JS here. Today, I'm gonna to show you a hidden feature in the KMTV Profit. Now, I'm not sure why this is not documented. I think this is a really, really cool feature that they should have announced to everyone. If they did, I didn't see anything. But basically, this gimbal has a time-lapse function. Granted, you will need a software a, called Simple BGC to mess around with the setting, which I think that's why they didn't tell everyone that it's in this because simple BGC software can turn your gimbal into a paint mixer. I've seen it happen. So if you are gonna try to do this, I'm warning you right now, you can mess up your gimbal if you don't do it properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works on the actual gimbal itself. So basically what you wanna do is face your gimbal, turn it on first, of course, balance like what I have, and face it to where you want your uh, time lapse to end. After that, you're gonna press the button four times and you, should, and you should hear some beeping sound. Then you have a couple of seconds to face your gimbal to your starting point. Once you do that, you're gonna hear two beeps at the end telling you that the time lapse is actually starting. Just let your gimbal go and it should move from your point B, to, I mean from your point A to your point B as my gimbal is doing right now. Now I found this out in Iceland when I was shooting. It is the same chip as their previous gimbals. They used the same Alexmos or something like that. So I was curious to see if the time lapse function is in this gimbal also. And it turns out it is. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to change the parameters in Simple BGC. So first things first, you have to download the Simple BGC 2.63B0. That is the only one that will work with KMTV Profit. So go ahead and download it and run it as admin, sure. Make sure you get the same exact version, guys, or this is gonna screw your KMTV profit. And like I said before, use at your own risk. If you fiddle with a lot of settings here, you can definitely jack up your, kim, uh, your gimbal. So make sure to save your, all your profiles prior to changing anything, absolutely anything in this software, because it's gonna fuck up your gimbal. It's gonna turn into a paint mixer. I've seen it happen. So I'm not gonna have it connected, but make sure you plug it in the USB and connect it. Okay, I'm using my camera right now to record audio, so I don't quite have it. But for time-lapse function, you will have to go to service. Once you're connected, of course, go to service. And that time-lapse parameter is right here. These are the two settings you can change that I know of. If you know any other settings, that deals with time-lapse and simple BGC, let me know. But these two are the only ones I mess with. The time-lapse time is how long you want the move to be. How many seconds is your time-lapse, right? The acceleration in and out is pretty much how fast or slow it is in percentage to this number. After you change those, make sure you're right, disconnect your gimbal, and then voila, there you go. And I'll warn you again, using this software is kind of like hacking your phone or overclocking your graphics card. You can void your warranty. So make sure to save your profiles before you make any changes to this software. This software also has the PID settings that you can change. If you want me to go over that, I can. But like I said, be careful. Thanks for watching. Hit me up if you have any questions.